You are the Neo. And so now he's got to wake up. And he says there, the Matrix has you. And we are all living in that Matrix today. We'll explain that in a second. Yeah, yeah. I hope you're feeling the energy and the love because I am at Greg City Academy. And let me tell you, I've got one special, amazing man with me. His name is Brother Andrew Muhammad. Andrew Muhammad, AKA the investigator. The UK's leading, leading, let me tell you, <laughs> black history and cultural specialist. How are you doing, Brother Andrew? Well, I'm, I'm so glad to have gee, you with us. I'm just smashed up. I'm here, live, smacking up life, sister. You know what I know, because I've seen you smack up life. I heard you and I felt you. All right. We just, yes. we've, we've just seen him at work, at one of his workshops, and I tell you, I felt goodness. The kids felt goodness. Everybody felt goodness. <laughs> I'm feeling your energy now. Hey! What can I do with that? Now, I want you to break it down for all the people out there who may not know you, because they, if you don't know, you will know. Okay? Yeah, Tell well, my name's Andrew Mohammed. They call me the investigator. Uh, what I do, I go into schools, colleges, um, universities, prisons, no matter where it is. And my aim and my inspiration is to go there and um, inspire young people to reach their goals, mm -hmm. reach their ambitions, and really let them know that they are the geniuses. They are the Neos that's yes. in the Matrix. Yes. And all they've got to do is wake up and take that red pill. Thank you. you. Know, I know who they are. And I love that. I love that you started with the Matrix and using that as a foundation for a lot of your teaching. Mm. Was it the first when you saw it? Is that what initially uh, sparked your? I, I love films. Simple as Me sweet too. as that, Sister F3. I love films. And um, when I saw the Matrix, it was like life changing. Mm -mm. And when I saw it, I realized this is more than just a film. There was a philosophy behind it, mm. there was a theology that's behind it, and cultural identity behind it. And the more I studied into it, and looked at what we call decoding the matrix, I realized that this could be used as a learning mechanism, not just for young people, but for people in general. And yeah. no matter how much you apply and where you apply, people could take something from it. And I've been using it as a learning tool for at least the last 10 years now. 10 years. Yeah, it's just fantastic. I know, I know. <laughs> it, it truly is fantastic. And what I can ask you is, where did this, because when you, when, you, when you witness how great his workshops, session speaking is, where does it come from? Where's his passion? What this, when did you decide, I'm going to become an educator? Oh, that's, now, now you're asking some deep questions. Ah, uh, you, look uh, at me, uh, I had to go there. I had, you had to go there, <laughs> you had to go there. Well, I'll be honest with you, my main inspiration and passion for doing what I'm doing comes from my mother. Mm -mm. Amen she's, to all the mummies. All oh, right, then. Mm -mm. She, she's always been a very special part of my life. She's no longer physically with us, mm -hmm. but every time I teach, her passion is in, in, in my heart. Yes. And um, she was always someone that connected with young people especially. Mm -hmm. And um, when I used to go to visit her in Jamaica, it's been like a crew of just young people around her yes. in her house. It was like a youth centre. Mm -mm. And um, and when I met the young people, they said, Yo, with your mum, brother Andrew, we, we just can tell her all of our secrets. She can roll. She never judges us, mm -hmm. and she just listens to our problems, and she just gives us the best advice she can do. And that's always stayed with me. And I know as a young person growing up, she's always been my number one friend. Mm -hmm. Apart from just being my mother, she's been my number one inspiration and my love of my life, yeah? Aww. That's my mummy, yeah? That's your mummy, um, yes, yes. And so that, that's, that's the passion. In terms of the fire that comes mm. from my father, yes. he's more militant, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. He's more militant. <laughs> he, he comes from more of the Marcus Garvey mm -mm. type of theology, yes. and like standing up for your rights. And so by using the two of them, um, they've been a great you know, aspiration for me to reach. In terms of doing what I do today, I've got to say that came really inspired by my brother, my older yes. brother, Michael, and um, he's one that really changed my life. My life was going down a certain path, and um, he told me that, you know what, start thinking about where, where you're going. Be more selfish yes. when it comes to you, mm -hmm. in terms of your education, positive selfishness. And um, he's been a great inspiration too, and he gave me my first book on history, black history and so on. And from then, Sister Ophelia, I've never looked backwards. No. It's always back upwards and onwards. Upwards, onwards and beyond. <laughs> That's right. That's the way I believe it. So, all I can hear is that you have a very powerful, potent ingredient oh. of a family that we're just putting, putting all these yes. kind of spices and ingredients <laughs> to make up everything that you are today. And then you can pass on that recipe. That's the key. That is the key. To all of the others. That is the key. Never looked back because um, what I found out in life is that the pursuit of happiness is a lifelong journey, it really it's a is. lifelong mission. Mm -hmm. And um, you're never too old or too young to start that journey. Never. 
And so, you know, I made a hell of a lot of mistakes in my life, and I still do, to be honest with you. But the key to my understanding is that, you know, when you're on a journey, you never look backwards. No. You know, no matter how much mistakes you may make, how many times people may think that you can't do it, you know, you've always got to just keep your head up high, keep going, and learn to forgive yourself at times. Yes. Because many at times we, we, we're very hard on ourselves. It's the worst. Believe. Mm. And sometimes the same forgiveness we may show others, we need to sometimes show within our own self. So sometimes you make a mistake, yeah, you made a mistake, but you know what? Keep going. Yes, and that's with any failure as well. Any I failure. It really is just a learning big time, lesson. Big time, mm -hmm. big time. And what, and what I found on top of this is because the good thing you mentioned that is that um, there is no such thing as success without failure. Yes. And so many of us, we're scared to do certain things in our lives because we think that if we do it and we fail, then everyone's going to be looking at us. Yes. But you know what? The only people that have never failed in life are those who have never achieved anything in their exactly. life. Exactly. So failure is a necessary ingredient to your success. Wonderful. Hey, I hope you heard that one. Jeez. Some more trees. <laughs> yes, always. And I can ask you, what are the most important things that we need to give to our young people um, that you, you found on your travels and your adventures? Sister, you're serious. I am My serious. My goodness. I'm uh, serious. You had to go these places. I, I told you, I'm going there, there, and there. And no one going to stop me. <laughs> the greatest gift we can give a young person, believe it or not, is enthusiasm. Mm -mm. Yeah, enthusiasm comes in many forms and so many prizes. Just by having a child who's enthusiastic, it could be whether it could be about their schoolwork, it could be whether just to read comics, mm -mm. it could be whether just to play football. But if they've got the gift of enthusiasm, that yes. whatever you do, just love it, be enthusiastic. Because when we look at the word enthusiasm, it's broken down into three main components. Mm -hmm. N, okay, the E-N, which means to go into something. That's where you go, the word yes. enter or entertain, mm -mm. okay? In. Thus comes from the Greek, which means, comes from the Greek, which means God, Zeus. Okay, ah, yes. so in God, enthuse. Oh, wow. Asm means spirit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when you go through life with enthusiasm, yes. you're moving with, you're actually in, in God's God spirit. spirit. And to me, if that, if you can give a child the gift oh. of living in a life in God's spirit, hmm. then you've made it in life. Oh my God, you went there. <laughs> you went there. You you hear that in God's spirit? That's how you move, and everybody will know and see you, and see your enthusiasm, and so you can go forward and know that. Everything that you want That's to achieve, right. you will because your passion, That's your enthusiasm, key. your That's energy the is there, and it's by God's grace that you're going <laughs> in that direction. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> so what I can ask mm. you now is, I know one of the most important roles today is being a father for yes. you. Yes. Because I've met one of your children. Let me yes. tell you, that boy is wonderful. <laughs> I didn't even need, need to guess who his father was because I knew it was you. You put your mark on this child. <laughs> Kind, respectful, sweet and polite, and just, just a good, good <laughs> yeah, yeah. young man. I'm very proud of him. I'm not going to lie to you. Every time I see him, and even when he speaks, I feel, oh my God, that is me. <laughs> kind of I'm not joking. His mother's the key to his life, obviously. Mm -mm. But I cannot lie. Every time I see Elijah move, mm -mm. it's like, wow. Wow. You know, and you know, it's so good to see a young man grow up being totally respectful. Exactly. But yet enthusiastic and passionate about what he believes in. Mm. So, you know, sister, without doubt, I'm blessed to have my, my children. Wonderful, and I can see that. What a great, <laughs> great, great father you are. And so where are you, no trying about it, where are you going in the future with this teaching? Because I want you to go worldwide, but that's my dream for you. I cannot yeah. dream for you, and but I know your dream is big. Yeah, I, I mean, sister, you know, you, you've got it exactly right. Mm -mm. Um, you know, I personally believe that this work that we do um, and I know you do the same type of work, okay? It's needed all over the earth. All over. We say 196,940,000 square miles mm -mm. on this earth. Mm -mm. And within that, you've got 7 billion people that want inspi inspiration and That's aspiration. Yes. And so, um, you know, I'm doing a lot of work here in the UK, you know, in terms of doing the work up and down the country, different schools, mm -hmm. colleges, my UK. Also, I was blessed to have you and our sister Kirsty down as guest speakers at our academy. So we're looking to do the academy. We've got Offers in now from places like Holland that want to yes. open up their own academy based on our structure. Mm -hmm. So now I'll be going to Holland to try and Good. work with them and help create mentors and an academy out there. We're doing work in America already. Yes. And um, we're trying to hit the Caribbean as well. So hey. Yes. <laughs> so the key is mm -mm. to take this work up and down the country, create institutions yes. of aspiration. Of greatness. <laughs> of greatness. Of greatness. <laughs> 
Well, that sounds like a wonderful big plan, but it's not even just a plan. It's, it's coming yeah. into fruition yeah. and yeah. it's happening and That's you're the going key. there. And personally for yourself. Woo! Um, my personal goals, to be honest with you, is to achieve inner happiness and inner peace. Hey. I know that may sound like a cliche, but to me it's not. It's not because, a um, you know, what I've realised in life is that, you know, we never know when our time is up. No. And um, I want to live a life whereby if my time is called, I can look back at my life and say, you know what, this was wonderful, mm -hmm. this was worth it, and um, I left my mark on my life. Yes. You know, you know, and to do that, if we can hit our goals and create that inner passion, inner peace and tranquility, that to me is like my all-time goal. And I believe that when you reach that inner peace, the money, the clothes, yes. the houses, that will come naturally. Always. But it's all about first finding your inner calling your inner being inner being inner self and knowing who you are that's the key that's it girls i'm engaged or to gauge something it means to connect to something what is the one thing the one most potent piece of advice mm. when a young person has come up to you and said that's it that advice got me mm. Mm. oh gosh i know this come is so on, hard this is, this is, you know, I don't, see, I don't know how deep you've just gone with me. Oh. You've taken me there now. Of course. Um, you know, because a lot, <laughs> a lot of young um, people come to me on a daily basis, a, to be honest yes. with you, okay? And I've said various things that have touched them or have hit them and what have you, okay? Um, to pinpoint one that I remember specifically is really, really hard. I know. And I'm not trying to dodge your question, but, yeah. you know, I, I want to come from my heart, you know what I'm saying? I know. And, um... You know, there, there was one time with um, one of the young people that came up to me, that stayed with me, but there's many in truth, but there was one whereby um, one of the young participants in one of my classes came to me and he waited for all the um, children to leave the session first. Mm. And he came up to me literally with tears in his eyes. Wow. And he stated that, you know, no one's ever told him that he was worth anything. Wow. Okay. That he was precious. Mm -hmm. And um, he literally burst into tears. Yeah. And this is a, a strapping brother mm -mm. that you would never see in the class that he had any issues within no. himself. On the outside, he looked like he was the alpha male. Yes. Carrying the swing, yeah. no problems. Mm -mm. But he waited till all his friends left the session to say that, you know, deep down he had a deep dislike for himself. Wow. And that um, his father told him one time that he would amount to nothing because him and his father were separated and um, that to me really touched me to say that you know in tears in his eyes he said, you've just by your session you've been more of a father to me than my own physical father yeah. and um, that's why I said one of the greatest gifts anyone could give a person is enthusiasm to yeah. fall in love with yourself all over again and believe that you can achieve Amen. But you had to go this. I went there. You, 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 you I made, did, you made and I'm so glad <laughs> of that. Did you hear that? Watch the words that you say, what comes out of your mouth, because it really has potency. Totally. Okay? And so we, I know we, I can say that happily and fully, <laughs> that we want you young people to be the greatest and know that you are precious. We may not be your mother and father, but we care about we you. Care. So totally. it's about realising that you are precious to us and we want you to go beyond. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I and appreciate you. And can I say you shine, I shine? You shine, I, I, I want, shine. I want you to take over. Over! You know because the first time I met you, so in fact, it's my son that introduced me to you. It was. Okay, um, at the conference. And um, from the time I met you, sister, you've had a spark. You've had a light. And um, I pray that everyone who meets his sister can share on her spark her light because believe me man you're seeing a miracle before our very eyes oh thank wow you, sister. oh wow you shine i shine and you brother and you much love thank you always, always love, love. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much thank you Peace. Always. Peace. <laughs>